everyone, in this video I'm going to be going through three years of sketchbooks. Now if you watch my channel you've probably seen individual videos of a lot of these uh, sketches that are in here. This is just uh, me putting together all of them into one video and I'm just going to speed it up and flip through every single sketch in three years of sketchbooks. So, and I'll start out with this little one. This is one of the first sketchbooks I started when I really started uh, making effort to draw every single day. So here's the pencil I use to do like 99% of the sketches in here. This is just a Gear Graph 500. I use a little eraser, a white Prismacolor pencil for highlights and my Prismacolor sharpener. So, um, with that said, you can see there's tons of sketchbooks here to go through, so let's get started. So I've done uh, quite a few sketchbooks prior to this, but this was the moment uh, when I really wanted to commit to drawing every single day, and this little sketchbook is really the one I started carrying with me every, everywhere I went, and drawing every single day. So this is the little sketchbook that kind of got me started. So if you're not familiar with my sketchbook videos and this is the first time you see my channel, I draw a lot of fantasy stuff. Um, you can see in this very first sketchbook, uh, fantasy creatures, weird kind of stuff like that. Something I go back to a lot. But I do have quite a bit of variety in my work as well. I draw a lot of different things. I feel like having variety in what I draw has helped me maintain kind of drawing every day. I mean, I should say I probably draw every other day if I average it all out, but um, having variety really keeps me motivated to keep drawing. Well, as you can see here, this sketchbook has gotten a little bit bigger than the first one, and I finally found tan paper. Uh, the tan paper with the white colored pencil is something I had kind of been looking for forever. It, I really loved uh, artists that used it before and never knew where to kind of get it. Um, and so this was really my first kind of taste of it and I absolutely loved it and I haven't gone away from that since. So as I was kind of flipping through these uh, first sketches and drawings, I was thinking about have I gotten better at drawing? Um, some of these, like this fish right here, I felt like really were really successful drawings even for me now. But there's other things like the female figure, things that you can see later on that I'm working on um, that I've gotten much better at. Uh, and I know just from drawing currently, I'm drawing some fairies, and I'm drawing these fairies from my head and stuff, and just the anatomy and everything is just a lot more uh, accurate, and it just looks a, a lot better. It, there's an awkwardness to a lot of my female f characters in these early drawings. Also going back through these old drawings, uh, it makes me want to like redraw some of this stuff. Uh, and I think I'll probably do that in a video, like that girl playing the video game. I feel like that would be a really good video to kind of take that drawing and redraw it and see if I can't do a better job of it today. Um, I would be interested to see that actually if I can. So, Another kind of fun thing uh, going through these is actually I can remember certain places where I was when I was drawing this stuff. Uh, the Space Cowboy from a few pages back, I remember, was Thanksgiving. Uh, and I think that was two years ago. Maybe one year ago. Maybe it was last year's Thanksgiving. Um, but I just remember it, you know, sitting there on the countertop drawing. It's also kind of fun to see drawings like this one here that started ideas. These were my first concepts for Princess Elena, uh, the book I was working on, Princess Elena and the End of All Vegetables. So those were the very first drawings I did that where I was kind of thinking about this idea of doing a children's book for my daughter. There's 
also fun kind of going through and seeing stuff I really liked that I did. Like these furball creations, that was one of them, the frog guy, and these little robot things. I really liked that concept, and I really love that I had stuck with some of these concepts for so long. Um, and then there's drawings like that one where I was just, those are the ones that stick out to me because I feel like I did a pretty good job on them. I'm really critical of myself a lot and flipping through these, there's a few drawings in here where I'm like, yeah, you know, I feel pretty good about that one. I feel like uh, I created something that I can be proud of. So some of these drawings, like this one here um, and this one right here, actually made it into my children's book. I did like these side panels of kind of creatures of the world and I ended up using some of my sketches from these old sketchbooks as kind of creatures that might live in the world where the storybook takes place. So one thing that's kind of neat too is, so this part of my sketchbooks is when I really started playing around with these secondary characters throughout them. Um, characters that, so it wasn't just one character, like there's a fish lady and a crab, that lady, every, all these drawings have two characters in them and they kind of tell a little bit of a story. And I really, that was something that um, I carried through for a long time after I got started on it and it came about because of working on my sketchbooks. So this was one of the more successful themes I carried out for a while and this was the first one, that cat right there, is these furball creations and I did them for a while and I really enjoyed them and I came up with some pretty fun characters doing this. Um, really one of the more enjoyable uh, times I had doing my sketchbooks. Not only did I come up with different ideas to draw, I also came up with the idea to draw with different materials. And so during this stretch of my sketchbooks, I decided to use Copic markers, which I really, really enjoyed. This paper kind of soaked up the colors quite a bit, but um, I did a lot of different, which actually there's a lot of drawings that aren't in here because I did them in a different like marker sketchbook, but uh, I had a lot of fun using Copics and I bought a bunch of them. so. I think it's about time I get back into using those. So one theme that you'll see me always come back to in my sketchbooks is figure drawing. Um, I really enjoy it. One, I think the female body is absolutely beautiful. And two, I feel like it's one of the things that helps me um, learn to draw and draw better than most, especially when I'm drawing from an actual model or you know if, if I don't have a model in front of me then I'm drawing from uh, like one of the YouTube uh, figure drawing channels which helps a ton and I still do that today I just went through a session in my recent sketchbook where I was drawing figures and stuff like that and like I said I feel like that helps a lot and the inks you're seeing these are all t-shirt designs that I was working on for a while there was a, a few months there where I really got into designing my own shirts and I had them made and actually you can buy them on my uh, website right now I use spread shirts um, and I kind of fine-tuned it to where they're nice high-end shirts they're a little bit pricey like 30 bucks each but I felt like the designs I came up with 
um, were a lot of fun and I actually really like those shirts so uh, if you want to check those out you can go to my website um, so here's a bunch of drawings that I had pulled out of my sketchbook so they're not in one and they're not necessarily in order but um, yeah I just figured I'd show you guys Another really fun uh, moment in my sketchbook, well one was those cool robot drawings, but I did a Star Wars themed uh, sketchbook for a couple of weeks where I just did Star Wars drawings because I was super stoked about the movie coming out and that's what all these were and I had a blast drawing them. So uh, anytime I'm, I'm excited about something that's coming out, I'll, I'll definitely do the fan fanboy thing and do some drawings. So this is one of my most recent sketchbooks and you probably just saw this video but this is the animals and follower sketches which follower sketches are you know I pick people from my Instagram and draw them uh, it's that simple I draw them from my phone so I look at my phone and it's really rough but it works and then here you can see I'm getting back to some figure drawing practice and so here are my last few drawings which are fairies and this is kind of for an idea I have so I thought about doing these really finished nice looking fairy drawings and so nobody's ever seen those before but those are brand new drawings and that's it that's all the sketches okay guys so that's three years of sketches um, it's a lot of sketchbooks and that's not including like a, there's quite a few missing uh, just because I either gave them away as contests or I did them on big piece of paper this is just the small sketchbooks that I do um, pretty much every day I would say probably every other day on average uh, that routine has I feel like helped me um, become a better uh, artist and better at drawing and it's really helped me explore my imagination which is what I love about drawing um, just I mean you can see tons of different ideas in here when you look at them all as a whole even me myself going through these just looking at them all the different ideas I had the fun um, the fun ideas I had and just kind of coming up with new concepts and stuff like that was really enjoyable and looking back on it I'm so glad I stuck with this and made it a priority to draw every day so one of the things that I worked on I mean just one of the things was and I know a lot of you guys were asking about this it's my book uh, the princess Elena and the end of all vegetables book so you guys are kind of getting a sneak peek because I figured I'd flip through this real quick um, I'm actually still working on this. These are some printed copies I've had done, uh, but a lot of time for about a year uh, was drawing these illustrations and stuff like this. Um, but like I said, I'm actually I'm getting a bigger version of this in the mail soon because I just felt like the this size didn't do the drawings enough justice. But I actually ordered some of those, so maybe I'll give some of these first printings away or something. I don't know. But I love this project. It, came out really well um, I did actually a lot of the sketches that you guys just saw are in the back of this book from creatures of the world so I'm going to do an in-depth video on my book soon but this is just kind of a taste of you know a big project that I've been working on a lot of you guys were wondering about I am still moving forward on it so but anyway hope you guys liked going through three years of my sketchbooks um, and it is probably the number one thing I would recommend uh, for any artist to really commit to making drawing every day a routine and if you do you will get better and you will have a lot of work to look back on so anyway that is the video you guys I if you know an artist that you know is asking constantly you know how to get better or anything like that tell them to watch this video share it with them and say just draw every single day <laughs> it's that easy just draw every single day and you will get better um, that's just one way but, uh, anyway thank you guys for watching and I will catch you later mm -hmm.